Go. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is give you guys a brief demonstration of how my particular Viper alarm works. Uh, my Viper has the uh, the motion sensor on it, which picks up any high density object around it, uh, like a person, um, and uh, it'll keep warning the the object to get out of the field that the motion sensor puts around the car until the per uh, person or object is out of that field. Um, and you can set the field to different uh, to different distances from the car. I have mine generally set around two feet from the car. Uh, my my particular Viper also has the uh, has a voice box on it, a voice module, which allows it to talk, uh, gives you the status of the alarm, uh, like when it's off, when it's on, uh, if someone actually triggered the alarm and stuff like that. Uh, my uh, my particular alarm also has uh, the backup battery system in case uh, anything happens to my battery or they pull the wires to the to the battery, my alarm will still work. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just give you guys a brief demonstration of how the alarm works and uh, the different statuses and stuff that it, it, it talks about. Um, the uh, First of all, I'm going to unarm it because it's armed. I uh, just got out of it. So uh, what I'm going to do now is just to turn it off. And, it'll, and when the alarm is turned off, it'll say um, Viper Disarm like this. Viper Disarm. Okay. Uh, so that means the vi the viper is turned off. Uh, so and then when you get it when you want to arm it, it'll say viper armed. Viper armed. Okay, so now we know it's armed. All right, and it, it gives you a few seconds to get away from the car and get out of that field. Uh, but now I'm gonna show you exactly how the uh, the motion sensor works. And basically, just when anything that has a lot of density to it, like a person or sometimes an animal. Uh, unfortunately, if it gets close to the car, it'll trigger the the uh, motion sensor, which just gives a warning, you know, and lets them to stay back from the car before they actually touch it. So, protected by Viper, stand back. So, protected by Viper, stand back. And as you see, it'll keep reminding them to get away from the car uh, until they're outside of that field once it's triggered. Um, uh, when it when it does that, it'll page me on my pager uh, and just say warning. In other words, it warns something to get away from the car. Um, and uh, when we unarm it, it'll just say Viper disarmed as normal. Now, if the full alarm was triggered, it will say uh, Viper disarm violation, meaning that the full alarm was triggered and you might want to check out your ride. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and fully trigger the alarm and uh, so we can see the difference in the, the disarming uh, message that it gives us. As you see, my little pagers is going off, and this time it says alarm instead of warn, uh, meaning that the full the full alarm was triggered, and uh, I might want to go check on my car. Uh, but since the, the alarm was fully triggered, and in case I don't get the page, in case I'm out of range, when I get back to the car and I unarm it, it'll tell me that there was a uh, that the full the full alarm was triggered, and it'll say that by telling me that there was a violation like this. So that's basically how the alarm works um, so far as the voice module and um, uh, the motion sensing. Uh, I know a lot of people hadn't uh, exactly seen one in action and I was kind of wondering about it so I thought I'd do this little video let y'all see uh, what's up.